guys welcome to my channel it's your girl at miss dosila ogola founder and creator of the blog that girl relatable um if you are new here um if it's th if this is your first time clicking on a video of mine make sure you hit that subscribe button like this video if you like it or if you enjoy it in this video i just wanted to come on here and talk about a few things that are on my mind or that i was really thinking about and um, i want to try something different with this video i just, I just don't want to talk i just want to try um do a face mask and share with you guys a few of the things that i'm doing on my face to just um help me like get that glowing skin um smooth skin soft skin and all of that good stuff so the reason why i am actually kind of not obsessed but thinking really putting an effort or rather putting a lot of energy into my face is because i got two like clear patches i don't know if you guys can see it but here and another one on the side here so that was in i think two months ago then i was like you know what no sis we need to remain like in one complexion and all of that gist and uh, that's how i actually began my journey with um my face and just taking care of my face like particular like putting extra effort into my face so let me just get this on uh -huh. So that we can get started. Although I'll be leaving, um, so that I can go wash my face. I'll just show you guys what I'm using to wash my face. So my hair is a bit like going through the most right now. Yeah, yeah. Me. If you're trying to work on one particular area of your life, the other one starts complaining and wants attention. So that's what I'm going through. Imagine. Yeah. So let me go wash my face. Before I go, let me just show you guys what I am using to wash my face. This is um Garnier Skin Active Even and Matte gentle clarifying foam so that's what i use on my face so i'm gonna go wash my face and come back okay so now that my face is all clean oh make sure you just pat it dry using a very clean towel i'd say face towel like a separate face towel from the one you use on your body on a normal basis i would use um this on my face um garnier skin active pure active three in one charcoal um, it's a wash, scrub, and mask. So I try to use it daily, but then again, um, I don't think it's healthy to actually use it daily. So I use it, I'd say, three to four times a week. So that's what I use, but I'm not going to be using that today because um, I wanted to try out um, a flaxseed gel. I don't know if you guys would be able to see it. Like, it's a flaxseed gel. I'll just um, show you guys how to actually make it. Yeah, I'll show you how to make it. Um, I'll attach it to this video. Um, so I just want to try... Put this on on my face as we discuss what we wanted us to discuss today today i was actually wanted to talk about relationships and just dating in nairobi um today you know because it's hard out here <laughs> it's hard out here uh, this is the consistency of the flaxseed so um, it's very easy to actually apply so apparently it's supposed to give you glowy glowy and smooth skin my skin is just going through the most guys yeah. and i don't know if you guys relate but hey i've been going through it you see this i was actually reading um a book by uh, that looks very yuck okay a, a book by mark manson um it's a free ebook once you subscribe to his blog and it's about relationships and he pointed out three things in relationships that people are looking for and that is status connection and security and i was actually trying to analyze myself to see like what's what's the deal with me and what's number one for me so i realized that at, a, at some point in my life it was status um because well social media and the pressures of social media today and I, in today's world where, where there's social media and all of that crazy stuff status is very important for some people so they wouldn't date you if you don't have some number of followers they wouldn't date you if you're not as popular they wouldn't date you if you well if you don't dress a particular type of way or wear a particular type of shoes or have a particular type of hair and all of that crazy stuff which well uh it's a bit red flaggish for me but then again these are stages of life that everyone kind of goes through well most people let me not say everyone yeah uh that people kind of go through then there's connection so of late for me connection is very important because i really just want to be able to talk and feel like i'm connecting to the person that i am supposedly dating and try to like i just want that connection that genuine connection that i feel like this person at some point in our relationship would be able to finish my sentences and we think alike we like the same things almost um our values are not too far apart they're actually a bit close and we can laugh together we can cry together there's that type of connection we, we almost love the same things and all of that good stuff 
Then um, the other one is security. So I realized also, the older you get, <laughs> the more you're thinking about, okay, so I don't know, honey, um, am I secure in this relationship? Because security can be financial, security can be emotional, security. You see, like, the different things that are important to different people. So for me, um, on top of I this, this emotional security, do I feel secure with this person? Do I feel like I can trust them? Um, do I believe the things that they tell me? Um, can I trust them basically? And then finances as well, because I'm also thinking of, am I able to build a future with this person? So there are different levels and different, um, different, different reasons why people date and why people choose the partners that they choose. So the status, the security, and then there's connection. For me, I know right now on top of my list is connection and security status. I really wouldn't care as much as long as I connect with that person. Um, and we share the same values and all of that good stuff but i cannot ignore like the craziness of just social media and wanting to publicize relationships and put our relationships out there and just the type of pressure that that puts on relationships no one wants like a regular relationship out here nowadays you know like everyone wants to be proposed for a particular way and proposed to a particular way um they want to they want to go eat at certain places and take pictures. They want to start a YouTube channel together. Um, they want to just be known for how amazing their relationships are and all of that good stuff, which can be a bit fake if that's, you know, like that's how you like show up on social media or that's the picture that you, that you portray on social media. And then one day when shit hits the fan, yeah, <laughs> people are disappointed in your relationship and yet you didn't even ask them to like believe in the relationship that much. So I'm going to go wash. No, I'm actually going to sit with it for like a few minutes because apparently I actually meant to do it like before bed so that you can go to sleep with it. But I don't see myself sleeping with this thing on my face because honey, it's sticky. Um, It's really sticky and it's going to be really messy. But I think to just get the most out of it, probably you'd have to actually go to bed with it. So I don't know guys, like what what are you actually looking for in a relationship right now like is it status is it connection is it um, security and what's important to you and why is that important to you so i'd love to hear that i'd love to know so yeah i'm just from washing my face i'm washing out the flaxseed gel so so the consistency is gel like completely like don't be fooled it's gel like um when you apply it on the face when it dries up it becomes really hard and really sticky so i don't see myself sleeping in that so even if i'm gonna use it again i'm gonna use it during the day in the morning um, before i take a shower or whatever or after my workout and all of that um how do, does my face feel after it feels really fresh and really really fresh that's what i can say so in order for you to get the gel out of the face um, that was a bit hard because i had to i had to use um an exfoliator just to get get the gel off off of my face so those are just a few things to note after that i just get go in with my even and matte soft smoothing toner this is Garnier, um, their toner. So, well, I don't, the thing is, these products, I really can't speak for them in terms of clarifying your skin, um, making your skin um, glossy and whatnot, the Garnier products. But what I know for sure is that they even out your skin tone because I definitely had a very bright, like, mark over here and here. And since I began using the Garnier products, they're just blending into my skin um, slowly. They're disappearing slowly and my skin is more even and all of that. So the thing about it for me when it comes to skincare products, you just have to, to, to try try whatever you need to try and then be patient um, i just put the the toner on on a wet tissue and then i just apply it on my face to remove any extra dirt um that may be on my face they actually do recommend using a cotton wool but i don't know i just don't like the feel of cotton wool on my skin so yeah i normally just use a, a wet tissue or wet towel so that normally just does it for me then after that i let it dry for like a few minutes let it dry for like a few minutes then i go in with with coconut oil so yeah so i just put a tiny bit there i've actually put a lot there then i put a bit there and a bit there i just um yeah i told you i used a bit of a lot and i just apply it on my face so yeah like dating out here nowadays is like a sport i know extreme sport so people date you because of various reasons, um, whatever they're looking for or whatnot. For me, what I believe is when you work on yourself, emotionally, spiritually, physically, financially, when you just work on yourself, then you're better placed to 
be able to pick a partner not out of desperation not looking for anything really other than genuine connection and love um because you are whole so when you work on wholeness which wholeness is actually a journey and when you just work on it um you're better place to actually pick a partner that you're suited for or a partner that adds to your life and also you're able to be a partner that adds to your partner's life um in a positive way in whatever way that that, that is so for me my takeaway in terms of connection status and um, security is sis are you working on yourself are you working towards becoming a better person in the different areas of your life so that your eyes can actually see someone for who they are and not blinded by your insecurities blinded by your desperations blinded by you're just not working on yourself so when you work on yourself then you're able to pick better and um, choose better and then be chosen again <laughs> look at that so yeah so basically i just um apply some oil on my face and um and i'm done i know like i don't have like a moisturizer moisturizer like i'm still working on my skincare man you guys don't even know <laughs> so yeah i hope you've enjoyed this type of video i'm trying to get back to youtube and i'm trying to create types of videos that i actually really enjoy putting out and editing and all of that good stuff so yeah let me know if you like this video and um anything else you'd like before you would like me to discuss today yeah so Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and let's talk. Follow my page, like, relatable on Instagram, Facebook, and all of that. Just so, bye, guys.